Well, I can get hurt being in the same army with you. The news, Grundy! I don't have no news. Now, Look, me... my wife, my wife. I want to know about my wife. Decker said he'd have some news today. I do. You've got that look again, Steve. What's wrong this time? I'm sorry, Ben. Listen, the baby is due in six weeks, and I promised my wife the kid would be born on American soil. Any more delays? Now, wait I... a minute. Your wife is a British subject, right? So? There's a law, Ben. No foreigner with a criminal record can enter the United States. What's that got to do with her? Your wife spent 14 months in a Shanghai prison. That's a lie. Treason, sedition, crimes against the government. No. No, it's all wrong, Steve. It's got to be wrong. It might be. Colonel Braden is trying to get more information. Look, you met her when I did in Korea, the Red Cross girl. Does she look like a, a, a jailbird, a traitor? We're doing everything we can. This is everything? Well, you need help, buddy. Wait a minute, hothead. I know you're kind of help. You're going to end up staking a claim on a rock pile. Yeah, I made a promise to my wife and I'm going to keep it. Or is that against the law, too? Well, with that guy on the post, we ought to get combat pay. Hi, Grundy. Sleeping on duty is one thing, but Colonel objects to your drooling over the reports. That amount of sleep is essential for every healthy soldier. It says so in the manual. <laughs> you know, trouble with you, you don't spend enough time in the arms of Morpheus. Why, that stupid hot-headed jerk. Morpheus? No, over. Him too. A little sleep might help to dampen that sharp fuse of his. For, uh... it, where are you going? To find him. Over? He's in Company C. Not this morning. He's AWOL. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you. Good morning, Sarge. It's all right, Fenway. Good morning. You barracks so early? What do you think? I'm doing this for the experience? This Ober's bunk? Yeah. Hasn't been slept in. He take off last night? No, at least I don't think he did. Look, don't try to protect him, kid. He's in hot water. And the longer he stays there, well, the hotter it gets. He was here most of the night, ranting and raving about his wife, the kid, justice, injustice, the immigration department. Is that where he went? I don't know. The truth, kid. Honest, Sarge, I don't know. The way he was carrying on, I thought he was going to have the baby. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe that's where he went, to his wife, huh? No, she's in Hong Kong. I don't think he's got the car fare. Well, all I know is he kept on saying he's going to get his wife over here if he has to punch a hole in every law that was ever made, including gravity. Well, thanks, Fenwick. Was that any help, Sarge? No. Oh. is a fool, Sergeant. He's hardly worth the trouble he causes. Take a look at his combat record in Korea, sir. I think you'll change your mind. I know all about Ober's combat record. It's excellent. It's too good, in fact. The trouble is, he thinks he can win every battle all by himself. He's going to lose this one unless we help him. We are helping him. I've sent wires to the State Department, to the British immigration authorities, to everybody who might be able to give us more information about that wife of his. Look, Colonel, he's already gone AWOL. Unless we get him back here in a hurry, he's liable to do anything. I don't know what. I know, I know, I know. All right. Send a man out to pick him up. I'd like the assignment, sir. You? Yes, he's a friend of mine. Don't be ridiculous. Any MP on duty downtown can pick him up. <laughs> I'm not so sure. What's more, I need you here for more important matters. There's a case breaking in the morning. Over was important to us in Korea. Why isn't he important here? He's acting like a sentimental schoolboy. A good soldier doesn't defy his superiors because of emotional entanglements. He's already proven himself as a soldier. Now he's acting as a man, a husband, whose wife has been called a criminal and a traitor. As far as we know, she's everything the report says she is. As far as we know. That's not much, Colonel. 
Well, I'm trying to find out more. So is Oberon. If it were my wife, I'd act the same way, Colonel. Wouldn't you? It's a hypothetical question that doesn't deserve an answer. If she were your wife, what would you do about it? I'd haunt the immigration office downtown until they came up with the information I wanted. And chances are that's where Ober is right now. Then it's your duty to arrest him. Is that an order, sir? You're his friend, aren't you? Why must everything be an order? The trouble with this army is there's too much protocol and not enough sentiment. Yes, sir. <laughs> Nothing unusual, Sergeant. Just a friend of the family. Lucky friend. What can we do for you? I'm looking for a man from Schofield Barracks. Private Benjamin Ober. Oh, yes, Private Ober. Mr. Willoughby's handling his case. Has Ober been here today? This way, please. Yes, Miss Thorne? Mr. Willoughby, this is Sergeant... Uh... Decker. Steve Decker. Military police, Mr. Willoughby. I assume you're looking for Private Ober. Uh, yes, sir. I was wondering if... Oh, I see he's been here already. He was waiting here when we opened this morning. When did he leave? About an hour ago. He quoted the Constitution, the Bible, the Magna Carta, a few chapters on the care and feeding of expectant mothers. Then he punched me directly in the eye and left. Uh, did he happen to say where he was going? I wasn't listening. Obviously, he's in trouble. Oh, he's in trouble. He's always in trouble. And if we don't settle this thing about his wife pretty quick, he'll be declaring war on the United States. We can't change the law of the land to appease Private Ober's temper. Well, look, sir. The man has a right to know why his wife was charged with treason and when it all happened. The report gave no details Your about colonel's it. been in touch with us. We're planning to investigate as soon as possible. As soon as possible. Look, sir, Ober's wife is having a baby, and he'd like to have that baby born on American soil. Now, isn't there something we could do to cut the red tape? Everything in its place, Sergeant. I'm obligated not to play favorites. I'm sure you understand. Yeah. But will the baby? It's a doozy, isn't it? What? <laughs> Willoughby's eye. Yeah, a real doozy. Do you uh, handle all the detail work around here? I tie the pretty bows and all the red tape. Can you untie them too? Depends. Miss Thorne. Come in, please. Look, what time do you have lunch? In about 20 minutes. Funny thing, so do I. Good. I hope you enjoy eating alone. Now, look, Ben Ober needs help in a hurry. Could you manage to put his case on top of the list? All that for a lunch? Sorry, it would ruin my diet. <laughs> About that diet, your measurements look all right to me. What's your real diet? That depends. You said that before. That's why I'm waiting around. 
What's that big oaf over to you? He's an expectant father, and he's unpredictable. If he can't get his wife into the country legally, he'll try something else. What do you mean? Well, he's unpredictable. How about it? What do you want me to do? Well, as I said, uh, what's your diet? Very expensive, Sergeant. Lobster on the rocks? <laughs> you know, Sergeant, his wife might be here in eight weeks. But the baby's due in six. Champagne. He's practically at the top of the list now. What do I have to do to get him officially at the top? Sergeant, you have imagination. Let's not leave it to imagination. I'll take you to dinner, lucky friend. Mm. Such friendship touches me here. Sergeant, you have nothing to worry about. Honey, I believe you. Now, how fast can you untie the bows on the red tape? Relax, Sergeant. The baby isn't due for six weeks. Don't blow the whistle on Ober until you hear from me. Well, if he comes back there, you tell him to report to this office immediately. Never mind, never mind. I've been calling all over town for you. Where you been? In the arms of Morpheus. Oh, that's very funny. Ober's back. I've been in every hotel, bar, servicemen's club. And he's back. Happy as a lark. Ober happy? <laughs> this I gotta see. Maybe he's getting more sleep. Give her my love, Ben. Heard you were looking for me. Yeah. You been gigged? Yeah, three days restricted to barracks. Could have been worse. Was it worth it? Maybe. You trying something phony, Ben? Just what do you call phony? Fake immigration papers, phony passports. Now, where did I get fake papers? The waterfront is crawling with passport magicians. You could be buying yourself a federal offense. You're taking your work too serious. You begin to think like a cop. It's about time you did some thinking, Buster. You know, that immigration report might be telling the truth. Hey, now, wait a minute, Sarge. You look, you've been married to this girl for over a year. Why hasn't she mentioned a word about the prison term? Why hasn't she... Take it easy, hothead! All right, simmer down, Ben. What's the matter, Sarge? Did he steal something? I don't know yet. Transworld Import Corporation. What? Offices in San Francisco, Honolulu, Hong Kong, and Tokyo. What's he importing? 20 years in the stockade. Where'd he go? Oh, oh.
Hey, you can't go any place. You're restricted to barracks. Yeah? Yeah. Watch. He can't be gone. He's restricted. You know Ober. Oh, that's great. I got good news for him. Good news. I got news for you. He's AWOL again. That's wonderful. Now, why didn't you stop him? Did you ever try to stop a Sherman tank? Now he's going to be waving hello to his wife from inside the guardhouse. His wife? Yeah, cablegram. Hong Kong, British immigration office. His wife has been cleared. Well, what about a prison record? She was thrown into the clink for the Chinese Reds. Her crimes committed against the government were against the Reds and the North Koreans. Hey, you better get a hold of Oba and Decker, too, and tell them about this, because they're going to tear each other apart. They wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah, they would. Where did they go? Uh, 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 downtown is some import company. What import uh, company? Uh, uh, the Transworld Import Company, that's it. Transworld Import yeah. Company. I'll buy an incense burners at a time like this. Listen, you better let those guys know what's going on. Go ahead, hurry it up. <laughs> in just a moment. Military man, the strong arm that supports the soft heart of international goodwill. You the boss? Henry Galt, at your service. Why, well, uh, I was sent here by a friend. Good. Friendship is the foundation of our business, the most precious bartering agent in the markets of the world. <laughs> well, uh, a buddy of mine, uh, his name's Ben Ober. Ober, uh, forgive me, my memory isn't my greatest asset. Well, he had a little import problem. He told me you helped him out. That's our purpose, the helping hand, uh, reaching to the farthest corners of the earth. Well, you reached all the way to Hong Kong for his wife. Uh, you think you could poke around Tokyo for mine? Pardon? Well, she's stuck in Tokyo. Same problem Ben's wife had, getting immigration papers cleared and all. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Well, Ben said you had contacts over here. Uh... The right guy in the right place, you know. I fear there's a misunderstanding, Sergeant. We import objects of art, <laughs> not people. A guy can take just so much of that red tape, and then he chokes on it. All that hanky-panky at the immigration's office, it's driving me nuts. All I want is my wife, and all I get is a lot of double talk. A tragic thing. Legal complications can be the essence of misery and misunderstanding. Yeah, now look. I've saved up 2,000 bucks. I'm willing to pay every cent of that to get rid of this essence. A uh, disturbing situation indeed. Perhaps an imported curio from Bali or Indonesia or China would uh, offer the solace you need. I see the one I want. Nothing unusual, Sergeant. Just a friend of the family. Lucky friend. You've met my partner. So you send Ober here. There are so many helpless people like Private Ober. Lori here just happens to be in a position to refer them to me. Nice, a patsy collector, including me. You'll make a great mother. It gets me right here, Sergeant. Well, I was distracted by the camouflage. Mr. Galt. That's Ober. Get rid of him. One piece. 
Sergeant Decker here. Decker? Oh, you mean the MP Sergeant Laurie told me about. You mean he hasn't been here yet? No, but if he appears, I'm sure we can handle him. Now, look, Decker's plenty smart, and he'll ask all the right questions. But remember, you don't know me. You've never even seen me. You don't want him to see you here, over. Yeah, the poor slob thinks he's helping me. But if he scrambles this deal, I'll never get my wife over here. My kid will be pulling rickshaws in Hong Kong. We have far more at stake than you, over. Now, get back to the post, and I'll contact you. Okay. Mr. Galt. That's an MP jeep. Coming here? They're looking for me. I'm AWOL. Follow me. How much did you take over for? $2,100. He was just a vest pocket patsy, but too good a racket for you to bust up. Well, take a good look at that money. It's still got mud on it from Porkchop Hill. We have to live too, Sergeant. Why? Expecting company? Sorry, baby, but this is going to ruin your makeup. Uh, hey, mister, did you see a couple of them piece come? Hey! You trying to hurt somebody? Hey, look out, Steve! Just us two now, Golf. We two, Sergeant. Remember your grammar. Correction, gentlemen. We three. You and the corporal are shipping out, Sergeant. In a large box. Over two. If his wife's been cleared, he may find out he has a conscience. In back. Take Sleeping Beauty with you. like old times, Ben. Yeah, I almost got you killed. I needed the exercise. Let him sleep. Sleep is essential to the healthy soldier. It says so in the manual. <laughs> We're Pedro, man. Yeah, I know. I called you. What'd you do? Walk? out of the stockade in time? He's out already. He didn't go over the wall, did he? No, they put him on probation. Oh, that's a switch. Well, it's the least they could do. He helped us break up an international syndicate. You decker! You and your lousy delays! Well, what's bugging you? I promised my wife our kid would be born on American soil. Well, relax, Ben. She's on a plane headed this... Well, so's the kid. But it wasn't due for six weeks. Everybody knew it but him. He was born in midair an hour ago with a co-pilot for a midwife. Gee, that's great. Congratulations, Ben. I... Congratulations, my foot. If you guys had worked a little faster, my kid would have been born on American soil. Thanks for nothing. He's too tense. He needs to spend more time in the arms of Morpheus. With that new baby, he won't know the difference between Reveille and Mescal. Mm -hmm. 